Yo, it's me, Chris, and today, guys, I am wearing the shit shirt. It has returned. Ooh, welcome back, shit shirt. You're back in town. Ooh, looking good. Thank you, thank you. And I am also with this guy. Hey, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King Legend Pierce, a.k.a. Woo! Built different! You can see it right here, too. Look at that. Fucking built different. That's proof right there. A.k.a. Chubby fucking Rain in the fucking flesh. I'm here, and today we are going to do what we always do, and that is maybe say fuck. And watch a movie, too. Wow, wow. And watch a movie. Wow, wow. And today's movie, voted from the Patreon itself, is Interview with the Vampire. On the poll, I put a vampire. Yeah, you fucked up big time. Bro. I am an idiot. Mm -hmm. And we're going to shout out someone who commented on the Patreon. Oh. And it comes from Tara M. Wilcoxon. And she said, in honor of the late Anne Rice, I vote for the movie based on her story, interview with a vampire when i put this movie on the poll she was still alive so it was just really weird i think she literally passed away the day after because even yeah uh, i didn't hear about this and as soon as i saw it, i was like oh man that's yeah. such a bizarre timing yeah because i got a uh, as soon as he put up the poll and i saw that movie day the day after i go look on my phone first article recommended to me the author who wrote that died i was like oh well, fuck me. That's kind of awkward. That is. Strange but, coincidence. Uh, R.I.P. to Anne Rice. You know, I'm sure many people loved her literature. And, you know, dying sucks. I Yeah. Wow. Hey, that's one dude, way to put it, dude. I'm not. Sheesh, man. Rest in peace. Dying whew, fucking sucks. Dude, I'm I would Dying <laughs> wouldn't be me. <laughs> I'm really bad when it comes to, like, really serious Just situations. Say, you know, my condolences to her family and friends and those who were affected by her passing. No, I hope you guys are getting through this pretty okay. That's a better fucking way to say it. I that sheesh, man. Die fucking blows. I'm going to have to get myself some PR shit. <laughs> but uh, I also wanted to tell you guys about an update that we have here, too, before we hop into the movie. Okay. This is the orange shirt with holes. Wow. Yeah, I'll show you guys how bad it is. What a war veteran. Look at that. Yeah. He's been through things. Look at it, guys. Look, if I turn it around here, you can see it even worse. Look at the hole. Dang. Look how big that is. Look at that. Uh, I can't even wear that in public or nothing anymore. It's disgusting. I mean, you can, but... Yeah, I made a joke about doing a giveaway for it, and I was very surprised at how many people were, like, really into the idea. It was just a joke. But now, I don't know what to do. So I think I might put a poll on the Patreon to decide the fate of the orange shirt with holes. Yeah. Either I'm going to give it away to somebody, some poor soul, or I'm going to give it a Viking funeral. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Set it on fire and everything. Or we're going to laminate it and hang it in the back of our videos. Very good options. That's all I got, and it's going to be a great time if I get, have to laminate it, because the guy at the lamination place is going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? This is dumb. And I'm like, you just got to tell him don't worry about it. Hey, man. So pretty much your options are, uh, you know, one, you get the shirt. Two, we keep the shirt. Three, we kill the shirt. <laughs> there it is. That's essentially it. So the life of the shirt is in your hands. What do you want us to do with it? Yeah. I'll uh, just let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking is cool. I'll take it into consideration, but I'm also probably going to do a poll on Patreon. Yes. Maybe. I'll see. I don't know. But on that, we're going to hop into the movie. Right? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. We should. We should. Hmm. Now. Ah! This, this music's actually pretty good. Like, it's very ominous. You know, it gives me, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, the beginning of Candyman and whatnot. You know, you get the view of the city with the ominous music. That's a good uh, correlation. You're right. I'm expecting something creepy or scary. This, this like, music. Right? Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting. It's like, I don't know anything about this movie. I assume vampires are in it, but I genuinely don't know what it's about. Yeah, same here. Like I said, that's what I do. I, uh, I interview people. I'm a collector of lives. You followed me here, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose I did. You seem very interesting. I want you to see we get started. So, what do you do? I'm a vampire. <laughs> Full time or part time? Christ. Don't be frightened. Is he teleporting? I want this opportunity. How the hell did you do that? He is so vast in space. Do. A series of simple gestures. Only I move too fast for you to see. I'm flesh and blood, but not human. Or shall we begin when I was born to darkness, as I call it? That's really where That's we should start, don't you think? 1791 was the year it happened. Damn. I 
had lost my wife in childbirth. She and the infant had been buried less than half. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's actually that makes it worse that he's immortal now. Well, I guess so. Because you have to live with that pain forever. <laughs> Essentially. Are you calling me? What? Cheat? Uh oh. Damn, he just opened up the shirt. You lack the courage of your convictions, sir. Do it. I invited it. Damn. A release from the pain of living. Oh, what? He just threw into the water? Okay. Uh oh. God damn, Tom Cruise sucking him. He's sucking him, all right. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I think this is what they call the good suck. Literally makes you feel like you're flying. Oh shit. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought he was gonna hit the boat. <laughs> I thought so too. That would have been painful. I've come to oh. answer your prayers. Life has no meaning anymore. What if I could give it back to you? Pluck out the pain and give you another life. Have you said your goodbyes to the light? My god, he's like Batman. What oh. the fuck, dude? Wait, wait, what? That was just fucking out of nowhere. Like, you didn't even give him time to prep. Yeah. Jesus. No, three, two, one, nothing. Just jump him. So. Okay, so he feeds him his blood? Yeah. Gross. But interesting. You have to drink their blood to become them. Rather than them just biting you. That's an interesting concept. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, calm down there, buddy. My god. Leave some blood for him. Oh, this does not look fun. Nope. I was a newborn vampire weeping at the beauty of the night. Ooh, an owl. Perhaps you'd like another cigarette? Yeah, I would. It's not bothering you, is it? No. No, I don't assume that it would be. It's not like you're gonna die from cancer or anything, is it? <laughs> I don't think so. Crucifixes. Yeah, can you look at them? Actually, I'm quite fond of looking at crucifixes. How about the old stake through the heart thing? Nonsense. Coffins. How about coffins? Coffins, unfortunately, are a necessity. Necessity? You will be sleeping as soundly as you've ever slept. Interesting. <clears throat> so they have to sleep in the coffins? But what if I'd rather taste your lips? Oh, oh damn! My li That's not her lips! Don't worry about it, man. Doctor, what about me? Oh my god, they're just attacking her in broad day- Well, broad this is night. bleeding her dry! Yeah! You'll get used to killing. Just forget about that mortal coil. You'll become accustomed to things all too quickly. Oh no. Uh oh. Target acquired. Oh, contraire, ma chère. He could eat the whole colony. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The veins. Oh my god! Pretend to drink, at least. So even rat blood's good? So they can consume all blood? Oh, place. dude, he's just like- He's squeezing them! He's juicing them! He's rigging them out! Ah, the finest of rat blood. Interesting. 
Does it taste good? It's got a very earthy smell. Mmm. I'm bored with this bread. But we can live without taking human life. It's possible. Anything is possible. I just try it for a week. Let me show you some real sport. Sport? <laughs> What's a vampire sport? I don't know. Read her thoughts. Read her thoughts. Wait, they, they can, can read? No fucking they way. They can mind read. I can't. The dark gift is different for each of us. He gets mind reading? Oh, the doggies! He's walking the dogs with her. I'm old enough to be your grandmother. Oh, doesn't seem like he cares. But hey, I mean, you got blood in you, and that's all he needs. The dogs! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not the dogs! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh fuck! Of a vampire who prowls the night killing rats and poodles, you could have finished us both. You condemn me to hell. I don't know any hell. <laughs> Whoa, Holy shit. Feed on what you will rats, chickens, and poodles. But just remember life without me. Would be even more unbearable. <laughs> wow. Someone's confident. Oh my god. That's a lot of doves. Oh, the chicken buffet. Uh, what are you doing with him? What's happening to that chicken? Alright, we getting it, we getting it. Okay. Okay, the chicken's getting it too. came from Paris? As did the one who made me. You must have learned something from him. I learned absolutely nothing. Mm. But you must know something about the meaning of it all. Why? Why should I know these things? Do you know them? It's driving me mad. That noise! Forgive me if I have a lingering respect for life. You'll soon run out of chickens, Louis. That is a good point. Like, where are you going to find more chickens and stuff? You're just going to start yeah. stealing yeah, poultry? Wonder, how many chickens does he need? Wait, is this... Is he going to just go in to... Oh, he's just passing by. Okay. Damn, poor horse. I got there looking like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah. Are you still our master at all? Oh, no. It'll be all of it. I will not go unless you listen to me. Oh boy. You must, you must send away this friend of yours. Oh no. Oh no. No, hold back the temptation, dude. Oh no, this is getting worse. Oh, oh no. No, the craw daddies! And yes, your master is the devil! You are all free men! You hear me? Oh shit, he's gonna torch oh, his own house. Okay. I didn't. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't seeing that one coming. Shit. I guess it's when he realized that you can't hold back that temptation. It's just so like. He shouldn't have the temptation near him, right? Mm hmm. Get rid of any temptation possible. I guess vampires aren't afraid of, like, smoke inhalation, you know? I mean, no, that's the least of their worries. Oh! Oh, maybe I was wrong. Oh, shit! Yo! Yeah! Perfect! Burn the place! Burn everything we own! What a celebration. Yeah, dude. When you're gonna go and torch your uh, the, the slave owner's house and he just does it for you. Yeah, wow. What a great guy, right? We belong in heaven. And what if there is no hell? But they don't want us there. Ever think of that? Hmm. It's an interesting point. But there was a hell. 
Oh shit, there no is. No matter where we move to, I was in it. Oh, so he's down to internal hell. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, he's got her. Yep, the distraction worked. I was just saying that. Oh. Oh, right for the wrist. It seems like the That's wrist is like the best. Oh god. I can't It was just the one thing that could bring you peace. You peace. We're predators. End that hunger. No. Oh, poor girl, man. Oh, yeah. Save me. Dude, this is so <laughs> fucked up. It is. The way he's torturing Louis. Her suffering and yours. God, no. man. Oh, yeah, he's not gonna waste dinner. Oh, but man, Louis' conviction is so strong. I, I really like the duality of like the two of them one who's embraced it and one who's trying to reject it. Like, how do you like mesh or like, stay together when you're so fucking opposite? More oh, there's his meal. Yeah, he gets to eat the rats off the streets. There you go, Louie. I like how he calls it a gift when it looks more like a curse. Ah, he's gone. Because these already dead bodies are probably full of blood, especially because of the play. Killing them, they didn't lose the blood. Yes. So he could feast on dead body... Oh. You could, already, you could just feast on the flesh of the dead instead. Oh. Yo, she green. Oh my god! Whoa. She's been dead for a while. Wake her? Yo, she dead. She looks like she's been dead for a while, too. Yeah, she looks like a zombie, man. Oh, is he gonna feast on this child? <laughs> oh, fuck. He knew it. My Mars would never take you and my This calls for a celebration. This guy! <laughs> so even so good. Dude, what an oh. asshole! Holy fuck, he did that! Oh, Jesus, dude, that was too good. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Back to the rats. No, leave them alone. Go for people. Run! It's it's something you can't escape, essentially. The hunger. Mm -hmm. like, even like he said, you could try animals, but it'll never satisfy it. Pretty much, because look how much he has to eat of the animals, too. Yep. I have a gift for you. Oh. A gift. Come. Oh my god. Is like a surprise party? Please. Like, yay, your first kill. He already gave him a surprise party. It didn't go that well. That's true. My god. <clears throat> oh, fuck, he is gonna turn her. Is that Kirsten Dunst there? Could it be? I have a feeling. It's just like, she's so young. Dude, he knows how to manipulate Louis so fucking well. Like, it's her. Yeah, you it's could her say the 100%. eyes. Yeah, the way he manipulates Louie constantly is just sad, dude. Oh, no. That's not good. She's a child. She's not going to be able to understand or to control that kind of uh, hunger or whatnot, right? Uh, I don't know. Whoa. And the veins kick in. Oh, quel bel enfant. Wow, did he really just kill her like that? I think so. My man, he's got that Vulcan death grip. I was about to say the same thing. Gently, shall he? Oh, no. You see, Louis was going to leave us. Oh, fuck, dude. Away. But now he's not. 
Whoa. Now he's going to stay and make you happy. Dude. That was the goal with turning her? It's the guilt that he was the one who almost killed her. Holy shit, dude. He's such an ass. I mean, she's kind of lucky. You got Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise as your dads. That's fucking cool. True. A little child she was, but also a fierce killer. Hmm. Oh. Can we kiss it better? Kiss it better? Oh no, she's gonna kiss it worse. Ooh. Remember, give her in her poem. She it's a good rule. In my coffin at first. That little digit. Oh no. She didn't like that. Oh no, she did not. Well, I guess that's another meal. <laughs> nice. Claudia, what have we told you? Ever in the house. Give me some. <laughs> me, she was a child, Fuck. but to Lestat, a pupil, an infant prodigy. You dress me like a doll. You make my hair like a doll. Why? Some of these, Claudia, are so old. You should throw them away. I will then. Oh, shit. She's killing the dolls. Whoa, she's got a lot of them. Oh, damn. Cutting the hair. Oh, no. So... Do I guess vampire kids go have a phase two? Oh my! Oh my Whoa. God! What the fuck? One of you get it. Wow! So vampires have eternal grit hairline. You made us what we are, didn't you? Stop her, Louis. Did you do it to me? Oh my God! Oh, I wait. Yeah. He just healed like a second. How did you do it? What should I tell you? I shall never ever grow up. Oof. Tell me how it came to be that I have this thing. Uh, kind of his fault. Oh. oh, God, this is tough. Now it's time to leave him. He will never let us go. Damn, she is scary, dude. Holy yeah. shit. She's starting to become more scary than him. Really? Like, she's just as, like, devious. I've brought a present for you. <gasps> a present? I hope it's a beautiful woman with endowments you'll never possess. Oh! Why do you say such things? That was fucking low. Whoa! I feel like she has an ulterior motive or something. Does she like... Is it like a form of poison or something? Like... I'm trying to figure something out. There, is there something like she knows that they don't know? You let me drink. Dead. What does dead blood do? <laughs> Holy fuck! Dude, she's much more scary. What the fuck is happening? Oh, he's just- Oh my god! The swamp! How great! Dude, I don't know about Louie, but I wouldn't go anywhere with her. No, man. Oh, fuck, he's horrifying. Oh, my God. Oh, he's ugly. Yeah, throw him into Dagobah. Uh, right? Huh? Whoa! Yo, no fucking way! 
Yo, I did not see this coming. Holy shit. You fucked with the wrong guy. Oh my god. First he got his throat slit, thrown into a swab, and I set on fire? Dude! Holy shit, this poor guy! Vampire! Thing! My god, dude. He's a piece of shit, but holy hell. Right? So does fire not work either? Like, wait, what does it so, take to kill a vampire? Vampires apparently don't die, don't age nothing, so like, he's got a long time to plan his revenge. Yeah. And well, to find you. What if he does know how to kill a vampire, though? When I'd given up the search for vampires, that a vampire found me. Oh, shit. Oh. What the f fuck? Oh, he's showing off. Another one? Oh, dude, that's Antonio Banderas. Oh, you're right. Oh, shit. Green to Petite Beauty with you. Wow. Damn. I was wondering when he would show up. Same here. Now remember. Let me show oh, you. Oh, poor vampire guy. Didn't grow back his hair. <laughs> well, most of them have long hair too. That sucks for that yeah, guy. Yeah, he looks very left out, man. This is fucking creepy, dude. Yeah, this is really creepy. It's like you're being, like, indoctrinated into a cult of sorts. So you have questions. But are we? Nothing. If not vampires. Who made us what we are? The source. All this evil. I have never seen a vision that would damn or save my soul. So soon? Without any of those answers you so longed for. Oh, shit. You said there were none. But you asked the wrong questions. The wrong questions. Uh... Okay. What are the right ones? The world changes. We do not. Interesting. The stat oh. must have wept when he made you. The stat? You knew the stat? <laughs> knew him well enough not to moan his passing. Nobody liked him. <laughs> Damn. Lily is shy. She looks very scared. Oh my god. She is frightened. Uh, that's pretty rough. That goes against all of his morals. It does, but then it's just like... He knows he has to leave her, but he doesn't want to leave her. Well, I mean, I think like, a child as a vampire was probably a lot harder to get around on your own. Because there'll be a lot of questions asked. It's time for justice, little one! Oh my god, Wait, no. Wait, what the What the fuck? fuck? Oh, jeez, he just smacked his head into the... Yo, poor lady, she just changed and they're just throwing her the fuck around. Dude, how did shit just hit the fan so hard? Yeah, I honestly didn't see this coming. Like, what the fuck is going on right now? Dude, this is fucking just like so weird. Oh my god, they're not even carrying him down, they're just dragging him around. Wait, they're gonna put him behind a fucking wall? Oh, fuck. Oh, the sunlight. Oh! It's like a death chamber. Like, I saw what happened in Blade when they looked at the sun. 
Yeah. And that shit was horrifying, so I don't know it how to It wasn't work. pretty in Blade. I don't think it's going to be pretty here. To the corner! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Let's just hope it's quick and painless and not... Oh. Oh! Oh, fuck. Yo, Armand, it's a little late for this, dude. So he wasn't in on it. What the fuck is wrong with these people? They're vampires. They're not people. All these idiots. Oh, no. He's gonna go see the corp... Their bodies. Oh... Does he become Blade? In a sense, I guess revenge kicks some vampire ass? Yeah, I don't fucking blame him now at this point. That's the thing, like... He doesn't feel like he gets along... He can't get along with humans anymore, and he just he doesn't get along with vampires either. It's yeah, just like, he's kind of this, like... He's he, so ostracized from he, both... Yeah, he's like in this gray area. And maybe it was to quench those tears forever that I took such revenge on them. Ooh! Revenge! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. The good old fire trick. Ah, classic. Nice coffins, asshole. Dude, that nonchalant just like... Oh, that yeah. was cool. Woo! Yeah, get her ass! Oh, shit! Yeah! Oh my god! Got him like a pig! What the f Wait, I forgot he could fly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, shit! Dude, they really don't like fire. Dude, he, he kinda is like Blade now! Right? Okay. Oh, so fire does kill them? I assume so. Oh, here comes the final boss. Whoa, shit! Dude. What a slice. Dude, I did not expect Louie to just have this badass revenge arc. And there, a mechanical wonder allowed me to see the sun rise. Oh, wow. Wow. And what sunrises? Seen as the human eye can never see them. Nice. Okay, this looks very sketchy. Oh, rats! Lots of rats. Louis. No. I'm so glad you are here. I've dreamed of this moment. He's not looking too hot. Beautiful, Louis. You always were the strong one. If you stayed with me, I could venture out again. I must leave now. There's no more to tell. There has to be more to tell. You, you don't understand yourself. You're not empty. And what people wouldn't give to be like... What I wouldn't give to be like you. To have your power to be able to have seen the things that you've seen in your life. You haven't been listening. Yes, I have been listening. The story you told me is, is incredible. It's amazing. Do what you want. Now, you brought me up here for a reason, didn't you? You want to link to the outside world? Well, that's me. I mean, take me. That's what I want. I want what you have. I refuse to let it end like this. Dear God, I failed again, haven't I? No, you haven't failed. God has nothing to do with it. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, he dipped. Damn. Yeah, he did not understand the point of the story. He didn't. He missed it entirely. I assume I need no introduction. Oh, fuck! No way. Dude, that's so fucking cool. I feel better 
already. Oh, damn, he's back. Have you heard enough? But it wasn't. I've had to listen to that for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the choice I never had. Dude. Oh Dude. my god. Is that really how this ends? Oh, fuck. Dude, okay. Wow. That made the movie so much, like, even awesomer. Wow. So we just finished watching Interview with the Vampire and... This is one of the movies that, like, I, I've heard of, but I literally had no ounce of knowledge as to what the story was about. Yeah. Like, not, not just that, I actually never heard of this movie before until now. Oh, really? Yeah. It, I, it, I've, heard, I've heard the name somewhere, but, like, oh. it wasn't something that I knew a lot about or anything. I, I've heard zero. So, like, I wasn't expecting much. But, wow, it was really good. You know what the thing is? This was a movie where... Again, another movie where I feel like we didn't talk a lot while watching it. I was genuinely invested in the story. I was captivated. I was genuinely, like, really invested, you know. And, uh, again, uh, a big, like, uh, mention for Anne Rice, who basically wrote the book that this was based upon. You know, a, a shame of her passing. Like, th it was... I would be interested in even reading the book. Oh, same here. I would like to see if there is anything different. With, well, obviously, there yes, will there's... be differences with the book, and there would probably yes. be a, bit, a lot more depth to it as well. Mm -hmm. But it's just like the movie was. I like the concept. The concept was really cool. I did too. You know that a vampire decides. You know, what, I'm just going to tell this guy my life story. And the, the sad thing is, is that at the end of the, the the entire story, he missed the fucking point. It's like he he took all the uh, highlights that sounded great as in living forever. You know, getting to see the passage of time and technology and the advancements of of humanity, but he didn't pay attention to the point of the despair. The sadness, yeah, the, the loneliness, the eternal suffering the, that you experience with it, and the ostracization that you experience through too. Especially because it's like, so if you're like Louis, let's say you're at a crossroads right here. You're not gonna, you're not embracing vampirism, and you're not embracing humanity. You can't be human. You anymore. can't be human. So you lost that. You can only be vampire, but you don't even want to be that. So you're at this gray area. Where you can't even exist as what you are now. It's a pur It's like a purgatory. Yeah, it's eternal suffering. Hell. You know, yeah, it's, it's like not a, just well, that. Yeah. He lives, you know, he saw that, like, well, again, he, he lost his wife and child early on. He lost another person he loved again. Yeah. You know. With Claudia. Yeah, so it's just like, it's more suffering on top of suffering, and he can never forget this. He knows how to die. He chooses not to, though. He can die whenever he pleases, but it seems like he doesn't want to, like, he would want to die Kind of like, uh, he, he, he wouldn't bring death to himself in a sense. Yeah. That's it. He doesn't want to commit suicide. That's it. And it, it's just... It, it's like Shakespearean. It's incredibly tragic, the story. You know, I had the same vibes. I was thinking the same thing. A man who wanted nothing but death. He never feared it. He wanted it so desperately that when it finally he had got it and he was at its doors, he actually was a coward of it. Yeah, he chose And he not said, to. I wanted to live. And that's why he decides not to kill himself. He already lost that opportunity. So who he, is he now to like randomly decide? Kind of oh. go back on what he did before. Right? Yeah, he chickened out, and he's got to stick yeah. with it now. I, I have to say, Tom Cruise as Lestat. Yo, Tom Cruise stole the show. I gotta say, dude, wow, what a fucking character he played. He, he killed it, man. Like I was incredibly like surprised and impressed with his performance as Lestat. I, I just, I, I, he's all. You know, I've never seen him do this kind of role before. You know, this isn't what I'm used to seeing Tom Cruise do. I'm so used to the action films that this was actually, like, incredibly eye-opening. Like, he was incredible. Like, like you said, he stole the show. Like, every then, time he's on, sometimes I was... Even though he's an asshole, he was incredibly lovable. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know? The thing is, is that, like, again, Louis always trying to get away from being a vampire. He ended up feasting on people because he had no choice. It was something that he could not avoid. You know, it's kind of like, it's a consequence of your action. Yeah. Right? Of your decision. He has actually. to live with it now. Yeah. It's like, you can't live as a vampire without that shit, you know? A man. Stat told him, was like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. And he's like, no. Human's good.
Yeah, like the rats is only like as you saw the stat after the years of just eating the rats. I think he was more so afraid of the outside world than of what's course. become. You know, he's like he was so behind on the times. He didn't know how to kind of catch up. Well, imagine how long it took him to recover from like the uh, the burning, oh, the swamp, my and everything. God, he said even in the swamp he ate like reptiles and stuff, and alligators to... and stuff like that. You know, he he went through a lot of shit list stat. All right, <laughs> you know, he's a survivor. Fuck man. Yeah, but it makes you think the fire didn't kill him. So are all those vampires actually dead? Or was it that he put himself out before or something? Well, it was off screen, so you don't know. Entirely. Oh, that's interesting. But I would also love to, like, talk more about, like, um, when Louis goes fucking blade on their ass. Dude! Wow. Yeah, there's a lot. To, okay, two things that were really surprising. When uh, Claudia and, like, uh, Louis, like, they're trying to change that woman for Claudia that have to take with her, right? The... Just them barging in and taking it. I didn't see that coming. That took me off guard. No. And then, like you said, fucking uh, Louis going blade all over their asses was yep. another surprise. I didn't think we were going to get, like, the actual... I was like, I, I want this, but we might not get this. Yeah, I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe it won't go in that direction. Might be a bit too much. It goes in that direction. It goes in that direction. It goes oh. fucking hard, man. He has that sick-ass scythe, man. He's, like, splitting them in half, decapitating them. He's like, fuck you, vampires. God, I fucking love that. Uh, that, that whole sequence was just... Top notch, beautiful. Perfect. Oh, absolutely God, it was satisfying. Again, like, Kristen Dunst as well. She was so young in this movie, and she was really good of an and actress. Holy fuck, absolutely dude! Absolutely incredible. She was, and she was actually more terrifying than Lestat, because like she freaked me out, dude. Yeah, she, she was willing to kill her own kind, kind of thing. She was know? cunning as hell, especially feeding him the dead. But it was interesting the effect of dead blood. Yeah, it, it kind of made them sluggish and slow or sick or like, yeah in a sense. so i guess that that was like a no no you can't feast on the dead blood just an incredible movie you know the thing is what makes it so great is that the movie ends and it leaves you with so many fucking questions just like kind of like how louis has so many questions about his own existence and what he is you're left with the same fucking even, questions even christian slater's characters questions he probably has so much more than he would like to ask louis yeah and i love the ending that fucking Lestat. Okay. You know, oh they my did, they god. Did, they did not have to do that. But holy fuck was that an amazing ending. Right? I didn't see it coming. No. I did not think it would totally be in. off guard. But you know what? It, I like the movie. That made me like the movie even more. I was like, fuck yeah, man. Give me Lestat. Uh, it reminded me of something. I, it, it might be the weirdest parallel. Oh my god. Don't tell me. It's the same thing I was thinking. You go first. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Speedball run. Yeah. Yeah. With Dio. Brando. Oh my god, dude. I yeah. was thinking the same fucking thing, dude. It's part seven of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You guys like anime, manga. It gave me those kind of vibes. If you know, you know. And I, can yeah, I got anything. the same chills, dude. I felt it. I was like, holy shit. It's the same damn fucking it, thing. It gave me that vibe. And I was like, oh. oh. Yeah. And, oh my god. Oh my. I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking that. I I, I put the... It was all together instantly. Okay, that I was, connected the oh, dots there, man. Oh, dude. Movie is a fucking roller coaster. It, it right? actually it's, it blew me away because it, it like I had no expectations and it blew the it just totally absolutely like just impressed me. I, I can't even believe it was it. a wonderful surprise. You know, like there's just what I like is like they made the the vampire again. It's kind of similar to like what they did with Blade. They made the vampires their own, right? Like, Anne Rice made the vampires this her own kind of thing. She didn't make them generic. She made them a bit no, different. No, they have their aspects. own rules, their own concepts. Like, the whole garlic, the crucifix, the stink. Yeah, I kind of like how they're like, yeah, this is bullshit kind of thing. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed that. That was actually kind of funny how they played off that. And then he says, oh, the coffins. Sadly, that's real. That was kind of good. <laughs> yeah, we got to sleep in that shit, man. <laughs> we don't want sunlight touching us. Yeah, that was good. No, but I, I, that's what I like. And then, again, like I said with Louis and his questions, it leaves you wondering, like, okay, but... Like what, like with the vampires and stuff. It's kind of like what originated them. Yeah, it's something kind of I'm still in. Like Armand apparently said he was 400 years old. Yeah, and, and then the, and quote like, unquote claims to be the oldest of the group. Yeah, and, such, and, and then so it's like, like, okay, if he's the oldest, who made him? Who turned him? Yeah. And so you're just who, like, who was the first vampire? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. So many questions. So in interesting, man. I, I, like I said, it's beautifully tragic, and I, I love the movie so much. Yep. I love this movie a lot. Just man, like more than I th honestly more than I thought I was going to, because I'm not a big fan of vampires. No, you've mentioned that before. I've mentioned this many times. I'm, I think vampires are fucking lame. All right, they're not that cool. 
This dude, Lestat was cool, man. Lestat was fucking. Cool. Lestat was right? fucking. Tom cool. Cruise makes vampires look fucking dope. All right, he just yeah. knows how to do it. All right, but I don't like vampires. But this, I actually really like this, and it made me think. Oh, you know what? Vampires ain't that bad. You know they they made vampires interesting. You know, that's what I like. I agree. They made this concept. I don't give a shit about something super interesting. More death and yeah, and then I'm just like, I like this now. The vampire shit is kind of dope now, as long as it's done like this. You know. I, love it but i just the best thing is is just like what makes this movie so captivating is that you literally see the life story of a person and i love when they do this it felt like an adventure like, i really went me, through his journey and yes, understanding it reminded, it reminded me of the the count of monte cristo oh it kind of gave me that where i was watching this man's oh, life unfold yeah. in front of you and you just you really get to know the character in a like a very personal way where you care for them and you really understand them and yes. what they're there gives the character so much more depth compared to other movies where they don't do this you're you know, right you see how they right. are oh they, the count of monte Cristo. right it, it gave you me, know what i gotta i gotta edit that one for the channel yeah but, that's one i gotta do yeah it, it gave me those same vibes where you just you watch a, a an amazing story of one person's life and how they kind of overcome adversary you know yeah i, I know what you mean but except this one is just tragically just yeah he's a sad over, one he, he's over he's overcoming sadness <laughs> That's, he's, he's not doing too hot he, he's the overcome movie. the acceptance that nothing will get better you're forever in despair life is hell yeah and so. i think what he's trying to do is trying to find someone who actually understands what he, understands him in his beliefs of this being an internal nightmare instead mm -hmm. of someone saying i want what you have he wants to find someone that can finally like relate with empathize him empathize with him and be like yeah and dude, understand what he is trying to say that's all he's looking for now he's looking for someone who fig that gets him can't find that though because people want uh they think of this it's big, it's grand the, thing it's the greed of humanity the idea of everlasting life is just and so he, tempting. That's the thing. And that's, uh, that's a very uh, good question there. Like, would you want that everlasting life? Nah, I'd rather die. I 100% agree. I'm dude. not looking forward to what happens in the future. It looks like a total uh, shit show. It's, it's not even that, dude. I feel like or, Im immortality, especially, let's say if it's immortality and only you have it, dude, that's going to be a rough life to live. Lonely, sad, no happiness to exist. You will become... You will find moments of happiness... But the sadness and despair that you will feel will be far greater. No, it's not that. It will soon, like, it will just, you'll be overcome with sadness and despair to the point where happiness will slowly just trickle out of your and life. And boredom when you've already experienced all the world has to offer. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Go to Mars. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm on a new fucking planet. I'm a fucking vampire. Let's go. But on that note, I think we're going to end it. We've gone on very long. Very long. Dude, this movie brings up a lot of questions. That's the thing. Yeah, this is something I would like to talk about even more at some point. But oh, 100%. Anyways, guys, I love you all. Thank you for watching, and thank you for voting on the Patreon for this incredible fucking film that I love dearly. Yeah. So on that note, we are going to peace on out. Yes, we are going to peace on out like the entirety of Vampire, Vampire Colony. Uh, Vampire Colony, I think, uh, the Vampire... Uh... Troop? Troop? Yeah, because it's like know. a theater troop, right? The yeah. Vampire Troop. We're piecing out like the fan, uh, vampire troop. Yeah. In we, flames. Yeah, we're burning out. So, uh, yeah. bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, shit. Hit him with that.